Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for tuning into the podcast tonight. If this is your first time joining, welcome. Tonight, we're going to be starting off with a major headline right now, Alex Doss. Two weeks ago, this guy just vanishes in the middle of his world tour, and nobody can seem to understand where he went. His agency has still yet to comment, but that hasn't stopped Twitter and Reddit from blowing up. Right now, there's dozens of conspiracy theories circulating as to what happened to him. Even the crazy ones, such as alien abduction. Ooh. He's left behind droves of heartbroken fans, and despite all of his countless stalkers, not one person seems to be able to track him down. <laughs> ah! <laughs> God! Watch where you're going, you... Okay. I apologize. I wasn't looking either. Yep. It wasn't my fault that you hit me, and I'm on the ground, and you're not, and... I just... No, I'm fine. Fine. I can get up. Yeah, I can get up. But God! <laughs> okay, okay, I can't get up. Oh, that hurts. Okay, oh, that uh, hurts. That really hurts. It really hurts. Okay, um, I, I think we got off on the wrong foot. Um, <laughs> do you mind helping me up? Hey, 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 wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's my fault. It's my fault that I hit you. I know. I wasn't looking. I was. Lo Never mind. Just. You mind help me up? Okay. Right, here we go. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, okay. I, I was, oh man, I'm way too used to using that leg. Okay. Uh, there's a park bench over there. Do you mind if you uh just scoot on over? Okay, here we go. Alright, left leg, left leg. Okay. Okay. And and down and Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh man. Oh, it feels so much better. Uh, all right. <sighs> you know, I'm actually surprised you haven't, uh, ah, you know what, let's make a good moment a good moment, I'm just, uh, no, no, nothing, not at all, I just thought, um, you know, that you, uh, So, um, this is awkward. Um, oh, no, no, I, I don't need to go to a hospital. I'm, I'm fine. All right. Yeah, I, I'm completely fine. Like, yeah, I was screaming in pain earlier. That's no denying that. It's just, um, <laughs> I'm fine. It's something I can walk off. <laughs> okay, maybe I can't walk it off just yet, but, um, you know, I'll be fine. No, I don't. I'm fine. It's okay. You know what? <sighs> Calm down. You're fine. Everything's fine. Thank you for your kindness. You can be on your way now. You did hear what I said, right? Yeah, you can go. Um, yeah, you know who I am, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I can tell by the look. Alright, yeah, I admit it. I'm Alex Doss. So what? <laughs> what, you actually thought that this was the first time anyone tried to pull that trick on me? Like, oh, I had no idea who you were, and oh, I was so nice to you. Oh, oh, I'll be so kind to you in return and give you my autograph, yeah. <sighs> so what? What do you want? Well, you know who I am. I'm in a vulnerable position, as you can see, so, uh... Yeah. What do you want? You want to know about... <sighs> Come on. Come on. It's only been two weeks. Do you really need to jump on the bandwagon of all those crazy conspiracy theories? Yeah, I read them. Like the crazy, you know, alien abduction bull. <sighs> Some people just don't have a life, do they? No offense. Well, yeah, I assume you're one of my stalkers if you're able to find me. I mean... You, do you not honestly find it too much of a coincidence that, you know, out of all the people you ran into tonight, it was me, Alex Doss, you know, great superstar sensation? Come on, you're one of my stalkers, aren't you? No? <laughs> you're not that good of a liar, are you? 
All right, and you're not a liar. You're insisting on that. So, who are you? Oh, now you don't want to talk. <laughs> that makes two of us that don't want to talk, huh? Right. Wait, why do you have your... Hey! hey! No pictures, all right? Just get... The oh, wait, is that Twitter? No, no, no. You are not putting it on Twitter. You are not... Oh. Oh, <laughs> you little bo... <laughs> Oh, you're sneaky, aren't you? You know my leg's bad, you know I want to be under the radar right now, and now you're gonna threaten me, blackmail me, by threatening to post that picture online so everyone knows where I am. And I can't do anything about it because... <sighs> well played. Well played. Right. Uh, what was it you wanted to know? Right. That. You know, you can ask literally any other question you want. It's gotta be a lot of other things you wanna know about me, like how many girls I've been with, or even how many guys I've been with, and... Really? You wanna know that badly, huh? <sighs> Not gonna change your mind? Uh, honest... <laughs> okay, you can't blame me for trying, alright? I'm in a desperate situation, I try to grab your phone so I can get rid of that photo, and thankfully you didn't press the tweet button, so... Got that to be thankful for. Alright, fine. I'll tell you. All right. You wanna know that badly, huh? There you go. Yeah. That's why. All right. That's all you need to know, so if that's all you want, then I'll be on. Really? Oh, you wanna know her story now? Seriously. Like. Be a Sherlock for once in your life, you seem pretty smart yourself, so, uh, you know, you saw the picture, she's in a hospital bed, get the picture, you want more, okay, yeah, just, really, <sighs> why the hell do you want to know about her so much, what's she do you, alright, I don't want you to press the button, so here I go, <sighs> It wasn't completely your fault that my leg got in a bad position. Okay, you know, long story. You know what? I was a young boy. I was stupid. I did a lot of stupid things. I'm doing a lot of stupid things now, like this, but, you know. So, yeah. I ended up going to the hospital for it for a few days, where I met... Yeah. All right. End of story. We're good. I still want more. C come on. Just can you just... <laughs> can you not push this? All right? Fine, you're the one holding the phone. I don't know why you're so insistent on learning about her. Like, to most people, she was just some girl that had some awful disease since she was younger, and she was destined to live a life in a hospital bed for who knows how long. But most people didn't see what I saw in her. When I saw her for the first time, when I was sneaking around looking for girls, yeah, you know, you know, the boys' area is separate, the girls' area is separate, and I'm a young boy, do stupid things, you know, nearly teenage years, so, yeah, you know, I was sneaking around, trying to find girls. What, do you honestly blame me? Alright, no, 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 that's not the point. Okay, the point is, is that I met her, and when I first saw her, I didn't see her like other people did. The moment I saw her, and... I saw life in her. I saw her as someone that was filled with light and hope. Someone that, despite their circumstances, they were... <sighs> Try sending her notes and <laughs> she actually wrote back. <sighs> I still don't know to this day how she was able to get that nurse to help us out. <sighs> yeah, sorry, I'm just... We became best of friends. <laughs> I didn't expect, you know, it to get that serious and deep. It's just, <sighs> yeah. So yeah, she was special to me, and you want to hear more? Like, come on, like you see the tears, right? I'm <laughs> not really in the best mood to keep talking about shit like this, you know. It was just three days, but 
felt like a lifetime to me. And there was one night where we actually decided to sneak out. We were able to leave the hospital for a little bit and do one of her favorite things. Just look at the sky and look at the stars. When I was able to bring her out that night, and I saw her look up, I just saw the most wonderful, <laughs> wonderful look on her face. And then she grabbed my hand out of the blue. And all I can do was look at her as she kept talking about how wonderful the stars were and how wonderful this night was and how she will never forget it. And that she pointed to the brightest one in the sky and said it was our star. So then no matter where I go, no matter where she is, we could always be together. She knew I was going to leave. She knew that I wasn't destined for a life in the hospital like she was. And that I was meant for other things. The doctors discharged me, and I thought I was going to be elated when I heard the news, but I wasn't. So you know what I did? I just decided to sing. <laughs> Out of all the stupid things I could have thought of doing, I just started singing. I had like so many emotions that I didn't know how to handle, and the only way I really knew how to in that moment was song. She heard it. She told me that I had talent and that I should keep singing. She told me that I had a gift and I had this light I need to share with I need to share with everyone. So So yeah, I learned more about singing, about guitar about music, just so I had an excuse to come back to the hospital and just talk to her and perform for the patients, but in reality it was all just so I could see her again. They wouldn't really allow anyone else to visit her regularly, so being a performer in the hospital actually gave me an opportunity to go see her more frequently. We were also able to, you know, exchange letters about what we were doing and... <sighs> Yeah, she didn't have a phone, so we had to do letters. But... Yeah. How do you know there's more to it than that? Alright, fine. We were dating. Alright, fine, you know what? Yeah, she was dating, okay? I... I loved her. Yeah, I knew she loved me. I did everything I could to fulfill that wish she had of me continuing to sing and me having an excuse to continually see her as frequently as I could. But the more I performed, the more I got good at it, the more I got noticed, and eventually some schmuck just happened to be in the right place at the right time, and... <sighs> yeah, I think you know the rest from there. So why am I crying? You, you don't need to know the rest, all right? That's all there is to it. Leave it at that. I said! Fine. You want to know so badly? I'll tell you. I started getting more famous. I started performing more and more. I saw her less and less. I tried writing letters. I tried seeing her as much as I could, but... Being famous, you know... It, it takes up a lot of your time. At the same time, I, I get prioritizing being famous over her. Eventually, I was on a world tour. <laughs> you know that, you should damn well know that. And then, I got the news. I could be there for her. I was selfish. I started only caring about myself. I forgot the entire reason I was doing this crap in the first place. I found that she was gone. I just I couldn't do it. I couldn't handle it. I couldn't. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. 
don't care. But I disappointed so many people. I disappointed myself, and most of all, I disappointed her. Alright? Is that what you want to do? Why did you have to make me say all this? Could you just leave me alone? Can't you see it? I'm already going through enough. So there. And now you know. This is what you wanted. What the hell is that? I don't want your stupid fan mail, all right? Just leave me. Answer. Where'd you get this? Tell me! You better not be pulling some sort of sick prank. This better not be some stupid prank show. There better not be a camera or I'm, I'm gonna... You're serious. You're serious about this. You better be. Just like, give me that. My wonderful Doss, I do not know how much time I will have after writing this letter. Right now, you are on your tour while I am preparing myself for yet another surgery. Yet I can tell from the doctor's expressions that my odds are not so good this time. I want to write this to you to let you know that everything is going to be okay. Even though these may be my final moments, and you will not be with me here physically for them, I am still so thankful for the precious moments I was able to share with you. <laughs> and even though you've been all over the world, I never felt far from you. And you know why. We still have that star of us that we claimed all those years ago. And no matter where either of us are in the world, we'll still both be able to look up at the night sky and be with that place and with each other among the stars. I know you've been doing that every night, just as I have. I have. I have. I promise. I when I'm gone, I hope that you continue to make wonderful music for the entire world to hear. I always knew the more that I met you, that you were someone that could bring a wonderful light to everyone you meet. Just as you did for me. Never stop sharing the light. The world needs your light and always will. I will see you again. Emily. <laughs> 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 I couldn't be there for him. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much. Thank you. You have no idea. It just meets me. I will never forget what you've done. What this means to me. Wait, you're. You're her family. That's how you found me, you knew that. I talked to her about her going on night run to... Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you look like a suffering mess right now. Oh. 
I don't happen to have a Kleenex to you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I kept the promise to her. And I intend to keep it. Just like I was her light, she was mine. I need to show that light to the entire world. I will do that for as long as I live. You know, crying this much made me forget how painful my foot is right now. <laughs> so you know what? Right. I know she wouldn't be like this, so... How about we go to that hospital, all right? I feel like we have a lot more we can talk about. All right, just, all right, just, uh, all right, here we go. <sighs> Maybe we can stop by a convenience store and get some more Kleenex on our way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And now, performing his latest single for the first time tonight alongside Amanda Sky, give it up for Alex Dodge! Just look to the 
Starlight surrounds us 